Okay. I need to go on a rant today. This is what needs to happen because what I saw last night was so, I don't even have words for it. I was, it was, I was cringing. It was so weird and I just need to rant. And I posted this on my Instagram story and I was in a ranty mood last night and I was just like talking to Santi a lot about it because I thought it was so ridiculous and I need to tell you guys and I just thought I'd put together this little small short video for you guys um, because I, I can't, I just, I can't. I just, I have no words, but I have all the words, you know? Thank you for coming back to my channel. If this is your first time on here, my name is Solana and I've been doing anti-MLM content on here. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, that really helps out a lot. And um, I'm just gonna get right into it today. So last night, I'm in like, like anti-MLM groups and stuff and someone posted this and then I went and checked it out for myself. And so Team Beachbody, I went and looked on their Beachbody 411 page for coaches and this is what they had this is what they had posted about. How amazing is this? Our recognition team wanted to make sure to do something special for our elite top 10 coaches since we weren't able to honor them in person on a big stage this year. So every hour on the hour, their photos will light up in Times Square in New York City until Thursday. Congrats to our 2020 elite 10 coaches. We're so proud of all that you do to help change people's lives. Okay. I can't even, I really, I don't even know what to say about this. Like who the f cares about Beachbody coaches? I and mean, let me just say, I live in New York City, okay? I want you guys to know, I live in New York City, okay? I know what is up at Times Square. Times Square is a tourist hub, okay? Times Square is like where Broadway meets freaking trashy comedy shows and you know, the M&M store and all of these things that the locals don't do. I mean, we go to Broadway, but not, you know, we're not going to like the Olive Garden. We're not going to the Disney store and the M&M store and the Hershey store. Like that's for tour. Like that's what people do when they come to visit. I don't need to go there every day. I've been there once, once was enough. And I think a lot of New Yorkers don't really go to Times Square. But my point is they are putting up these girls faces in Times Square, but there's no one in Times Square right now. If you haven't, you know, heard about what's going on in the world, there's a pandemic. So therefore, New York is lacking tourists, okay? I go out, I go for a walk. There's not a lot of people compared to, you know, how New York usually is in the summer. There's not a lot of tourists. You know who goes to Times Square? Tourists go to Times Square because it's Times Square, it's famous, yay. But locals don't go there. So there's literally no one there. So you're putting up this giant billboard. And can I just say with this picture from what I'm seeing, it's next to the Lion King, the freaking Lion King sign. Really? You're gonna go and play the Lion King like that? Like, I'm sorry, you can't put a beach body, whoever the hell this person is, next to the Lion King. Like that's one of the best shows ever. The Lion King should be offended. You can't put, these beach body coaches in this like same place you advertise really talented Broadway shows like with amazing amazing artists and stuff like that okay so my point is just saying like who thought it would be a good idea to put these people's faces in Times Square when there's no one in Times Square like good for you you get to say your face was in Times Square but there's no one there to see it New Yorkers aren't there New Yorkers don't go to Times Square who do you think in Times Square there's no tourists the tourists are home because of the pandemic and if they come to New York, they have to quarantine for two weeks and nobody wants to do that because yes, New York, we just entered phase four of reopening except we entered phase four with limitations, meaning indoor dining, indoor activities like shows, comedy shows, Broadway shows, theaters, all of these things are not happening and malls are not opening. All of these things are not opening and everything is like has to be, if it is inside, has to be 50% capacity or something like that, but all of the arts are not open yet. Times Square is a hub for the arts and the stuff like that. So who is in Times Square right now? Please tell me who, how, who, who, why, what are you doing? There's no one there. You're just, you were literally putting these faces up for an empty place that no one wants to be. And can let's be honest, because of the pandemic, they probably are like a cheap 
it's probably really like not as expensive as usual to put a thing in Times Square because there's probably not as many advertising wanting to be in Times Square right now because what's the point? There's no one there to see the advertisement. But just for, you know, to have fun, I'm going to see if I can just Google how much does an ad in Times Square cost. It, okay, this is, this is what, okay, Google. First thing, go to Google, Google how much does an ad in Times Square cost, and this is what will come up. It costs between $1.1 and $4 million a year to buy advertising space in Times Square. In contrast, a Times Square billboard cost for a day can start at $5,000 and go up to $50,000. So it can cost $3 million a month to advertise on Times Square. Girl, what? $5,000 to $50,000 a day. They have it up from, I guess, yesterday, Sunday to Thursday. So five days. So what's 5000 times 5? $25,000. Or if it cost them 50000 it would cost them $250,000 to put up 10 people's faces in Times Square when there's no one there to see it. Maybe it's a little cheaper. Granted, it might be a little cheaper right now since there's literally no one in Times Square. Let's, but still, you're telling me you're spending twenty-five dollars to $250,000 to put up people's faces in Times Square that no one knows who these people even are and no one cares. Girl, nobody cares. You're in a pyramid scheme. Good job. No one knows you. What? Like Times Square is supposed to be for like, you know, like TV shows and plays and like things that people actually like give a shit about. No one knows who, you know, Ashley from Beachbody is who hit, you know, whatever elite rank. No one cares. Who cares? The only people that care are people in Beachbody. If you're not in Beachbody, you don't even know what that means. Before I was in Beachbody, I never even heard of Beachbody, okay? The only reason I heard of Beachbody is because someone approached me and talked to me about Beachbody. And then even when I was in Beachbody, I didn't really understand the ranking system because it was so all over the place and no one really explained it to me. So the only people that care about who these people are are the Beachbody coaches. And they're not in Times Square. Are all the Beachbody coaches going to Times Square? I don't think they're going to Times Are you planning a trip? Let me know. Let me know. I will show up. I don't know. But are they, if there's something I don't know about that these Beachbody coaches are taking a trip to Times Square to go see the billboards of themselves because otherwise I don't know the purpose of that. There's no one there. No one likes Times Square. Okay, just get over it. I'm so heated. I don't know what I'm saying. But my point is you have the money to spend between whatever I just said, $50,000, $250,000 on an ad for five days to show 10 random people who nobody knows who they are, who are just a beach body coach. So good job. You got a lot of money because your downlines earning money for you. Your downline should be in Times Square. They're the ones doing the work. Your downline should be there in Times Square with you because they're the ones, they're the reason you're making money, girl. They're the reason that you have whatever earnings you have because your downline is sacrificing their time and their money and going into debt so that you can get your face up on a billboard in Times Square. Good job, you played yourself. Oh, I'm so infuriated. Like nobody cares about Beachbody coaches. Like you just care about, your, they care about them. They, they go to Summit and they have this like false celebrities thing that they do. They think they're celebrities. They look at these top coaches like they're celebrities, but in real life, nobody outside of Beachbody know who these people are and nobody cares who you are. I'm not saying that to be rude, but no one knows, like, stop, like what? They're, they have money, they have the, they have the money. Corporate, corporate, corporate has the money to spend that much on advertising to put up these 10 girls' faces in Times Square. Why don't you just give that money back? Why don't you give your coaches bonuses? Why don't you say, oh, you know, I know we're in a pandemic. Times are hard right now. Everybody's a little short on money. But it's a hard time here. I'm going to give back to the coaches on, in my company. Here's a bonus, coaches. We value you. No, they're going to spend the money on a billboard in Times Square that no one cares about. Okay, so w I'm sorry. You have you have up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to spend on a billboard in Times Square, but you don't. But you can't, you know, give your coaches some like little bonus checks. You know, you can't give them a secure salary. You know, you can't give them like 
guaranteed money, but you have the kind of money that it takes to rent out a billboard in Times Square, but you can't offer your coaches more than, you know, whatever, 25% commission. You can't offer them a guaranteed salary. You can't offer them money for advertising for you. No, they have to lose money, but you can go and you can rent out a billboard in Times Square. Do you see the logic here? Because I, this is what, this is what gets me is all these people, they're going to Beachbody, they lose a ton of money. They go into debt. Meanwhile, corporates over here buying a freaking billboard in Times Square. Okay. So, you know, it just, A, it goes to show how much money this company actually has. They don't need your money. Okay. So every time you buy from them, just remember, they don't really need your money because this is what they're spending their money on. Okay. They have a lot of money. Corporates go, oh, and, and can we just express, they have money because they have corporate workers who also do get paid salaries. So I was talking to Santi last night about that and he was like, do Beachbody coaches like understand that those corporate workers working at corporate that get paid money guaranteed, but that why are they always shitting on corporate jobs when Beachbody does have corporate offices? I know you've heard other anti-MLMs talk about that and I've heard them too, but Santi legit like brought that up to me last night being like, why are they... What? Like corporate's the reason that they get this recognition. If there was no corporate, your face wouldn't be in Times Square. Okay? So don't shit on corporate jobs because if it wasn't for Beachbody Corporate, they wouldn't have money to put your face on a billboard in Times Square that no one's going to care about. All right. I am clearly very emotional. There's no one there. They even posted a picture. Someone posted a picture, okay? And you can actually tell that in the background there is nobody in Times Square, okay? Nobody cares about Mrs. Whoever you are because you have a downline and you're the head of your pyramid, you're at the top of your pyramid. Instead of taking a picture of just the billboard, why don't you take a picture of the billboard with the empty Times Square and then you'll really see who's gonna see that picture. It's just gonna be angry taxi drivers that are driving through Times Square trying to get to where they need to be and they're not even gonna care because they're gonna be angry and honking the horn at each other because that's what Times Square is. It's a mess. Don't go to Times Square. You're gonna just be where the angry freaking people in costumes are trying to get money from. To like, no. So I'm gonna stop here because I'm just gonna go off and I'm just gonna keep going off on this. I just needed to talk about this you wanted to hear my take. I don't know, maybe give that money back to the coaches that work so hard to get these people on a billboard in Times Square. I don't know. Maybe take that money and put it back into your coaches. You, let's be real. You have the money. You have the pockets. There's probably a little bit of anger in here, but I just think it's such a useless waste of money just because you get to walk across a fancy ass stage in front of all your beach body things that make you feel like a celebrity doesn't mean anything, okay? In the real world, it doesn't mean anything. Good for you. Beachbody, I don't understand anymore, but this is really like, it's, it's, so, it's so dumb. It's just so dumb. It's so dumb and I don't have words. Okay, I maybe I'm gonna go to Times Square and see this for myself. I think I'm gonna go to Times Square and I'm gonna vlog and I'm gonna go see what is up in Times Square. If anyone wants me to go to Times Square and vlog a trip to Times Square during the pandemic, wearing a mask, I will do it. Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you wanna see that. Let me know. What's up? I hope you have a good day. I hope, you know, tell me if you're as outraged about this. Tell me if you think this is so silly. If you're from New York, you know, tell me how you feel about this because I think it's just so dumb. So if you're, whatever, no matter where you're from, let me know how you think about this. Do you think that these people deserve to be on a billboard in Times Square? Do you think it's a waste of money like I do? You think it's just a waste? Like, what's the point? Uh, let me know in the comment section. I will, I would love to know your feedback. And uh, that is my rant. And I know I'm a little crazy, really hot. I'm crazy. Here we go. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And um, I will see you guys for the next video. Thank you so much.